Hi there, how are you going? It's Simon here. Today I wanted to talk to you about pedal boards and why I think you need one and why it needn't cost one billion dollars. See you in a second. So if you're anything like the majority of people I teach the guitar and have taught over the last 25, 30 years, you will at some point have bought an electric guitar and then gone to buy some guitar pedals because, you know, they are awesome. Sometimes they just end up hanging around. You know, I know what it's like, you get home from work, you wanna play a bit of guitar, you plug the guitar in, you find the amp, everything's plugged in, and then you're like, oh, I should play with the pedals as well. And then you, you know, you've got these pedals that are just sitting around, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna plug them in. And then you go, oh, where are the patch cables? Or it's run out of batteries, or do I have the right power supply for this thing? Then you plug it all in with your daisy chain or your batteries or whatever, and then you play it and it's awesome and you're like, oh, I should do this, you know? But most times when you play guitar after you've done your practice, warm-ups, whatever, I reckon that you probably won't plug in your pedals. And that is why you need to buy a pedal board. So pedal boards don't need to be these fancy metal numbers that you buy from people like Pedal Train. I, look, they're great. So crazy expensive for what they are though. Now, what I did is I actually bought this little tiny one, which fits four, maybe five pedals. This is my teaching board. So when I'm teaching guitar, I have this plugged in. You can never have too many overdrives. Uh, this is a $25, $30 orange burst overdrive, K-Line orange burst. I think I bought it on Amazon. This is a slightly more expensive exotic AC booster, which I bought secondhand for about 100, 100 bucks maybe. This is another K-Line special. It's a uh, analog delay. And this is a Boss Looper, which is about 1 million years old. And, um, but I use it for demonstration in le lessons. So the whole thing, you know, 30, 100, 30, that's 160. This power supply I bought for $100 secondhand, that's 260. And I bought this originally, it was really expensive, but now you could probably pick up a similar sort of thing for 150 bucks. And then the actual board was about 20 bucks. So in total, we've got about 400 bucks there, I reckon. Um, which I know seems like a crazy amount of money up front, but is awesome, stays together. I've sort of tied everything together so you can see that so you can see it's sort of all stuck in there. Nothing's really gonna move, which is great. And um, everything's Velcroed on, so just stays on. And it's super easy just to plug it in and go. You plug in the power, make sure you sort out the power so it's in the right place. Plug in the power, plug in your amp, bish bosh, you're done. Now, just to prove that you don't need to go and buy one of these big expensive boards, I'd rather spend the money on the pedals than the infrastructure to house the pedals. So a little while ago, I went to a local op shop at Vinnie's and I found this perfectly acceptable laptop case. It came to the grand total of $2, two, $2. And it's got space in the back and I put my guitar stand in there so that it's all ready to go for gigs. Then I went to a hardware store and I had them cut a piece of MDF the same size as the case. It was an off cut that he just gave to me and then he cut it up and he charged me like five bucks to do that, which was terrific. So, so far I've got a pedal board and a pedal board bag that cost $7. Okay, so you don't need to go and spend this huge amount of money on these big fancy metal pedal boards. Now, what it ended up looking like is this. So I bought the board, the MDF, and then I went to Clark Rubber, which is like a, an outlet, uh, outlet store for kind of like um, yachts and just random boating sort of stuff, I think, over here in Australia. They uh, sell rubber goods and, you know, floaties for the pool, for the kids, all sorts of things. But this stuff here, this carpet that I bought is like a marine carpet that you would find on you know, one's yacht. Then I just cut it to size around the edge, right? So I think the carpet cost maybe two bucks. I had to buy a meter, 
it costs two bucks. And so, so now we're up to nine dollars. Nine, count them. I have the power supply mounted on the bottom. I've got all the cables and all that stuff under this bit of high quality cardboard. And you can see gaffer tape is a friend of mine. Um, but everything is stuck on really nicely. I drilled some holes through the actual board to be able to send the wires through. And here we go. We've got a uh, tuner, a uh, double pedal fuzz pedal. This is absolutely awesome, this pedal. You can switch it from sil silicon to germanium and you can switch the order of those pedals, the overdrive and the fuzz. Um, I've got a little mini wah. I love wah. I don't love the size of them. So I tried this little mini wire out. I bought it secondhand actually off Facebook group and it was about a hundred bucks. And it took a bit of a while to get used to, to be honest, but it's terrific. Really, really love it. I bought the sugar drive. Um, you can check out my review of that. Um, MXR sugar drives, like a, a very slight overdrive. Then I've got this AC plus. You might have seen the AC booster on the other board. I love it. So this is like two AC boosters in one. What more could you want? Um, phaser, because everybody hates that apart from me. And, and delay, analog delay and EP booster, which basically I always leave on and makes everything sound way better. Um, just, just is. I don't know how it works really. It's a preamp basically. Um, so like in total, I know some of these pedals are a bit expensive. I totally appreciate that, but I would rather have spent the money on the pedals than on the board. And I mean, it looks all right. You know, I'm not trying to win any design awards, but you know, in terms of the board itself, it costs nine bucks to put together, which is unreal. So I guess that's kind of it for today. I just wanted to have a bit of a chat with you about why a pedal board is actually a really really useful thing to have so thanks very much for watching I do appreciate it please click the bell for notifications of when new lessons are released I release them on Tuesdays and on Saturdays Tuesdays are gear reviews Saturdays are lessons if you are able please support the channel with only three dollars a month at patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell I will see you soon if you have any questions or comments on pedal boards I would love to hear them Please tell me what you think down below and I'll speak to you soon. Please don't be too mean about my homemade pedal board. Thank you. See you later. Bye for now.